taking the feet hip distance apart. And as you inhale, reach the arms out to the side. As you exhale, allow the arms to drop down. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, lower. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lower. Reach the arms up to the sky. And release them right to the side to shoulder height and back down. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. And once more, inhaling. <laughs> and exhaling, excuse me. Rolling out through the shoulders. Begin to involve the elbows and the hands. Then cross over as you bring the arms forward. And then cross the arms behind. So figure of eight. So the arms come behind and then cross over in front. And if the back, the neck feels okay with it, chin towards the chest as the arms come forward. And then opening up so you've got wings that you're spreading out behind you. So they, the arms are flowing, crossing over. Figure of eight with your arms. Last one. Good, and releasing. Weight into the right foot, left foot out in front. As your hips draw the elbows back, opening up through your chest, taking the legs slightly out to the side. If you need to hold on to something, do, and back to center. Legs to the side, and back to center. And once more, and releasing. Switching sides, extend out through the foot, toes drawn back, take the leg to the side, and back to center. Leg to the side and back to center, and once more. Good, and releasing. So, coming to the left side of your mat, so mirroring me, and as you inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, bring the hands together if shoulders allow, otherwise, you could have the hands apart. Reaching to the right. Inhale back to center and reach to the left. Inhale back to center. Taking the right foot out. So now your toes and feet facing like 10 and 2 on the clock. Bend your knees, bend the elbows. Inhaling straight into the elbows, reaching out through your hands. Bend the elbows. And extend it. Tucking your toes of the left foot so they're facing the front. Draw the toes of the right foot to face the bottom end of your mat. Or maybe it's the top. <laughs> Hinge and forward over the front leg. Drop the hand down to just in front of the front leg and the top arm reaching up to the sky. Deep breath in and deep breath out. On the next exhale, lift the back heel, pivot on the back foot as you cartwheel the hand down to the floor, dropping the knee down. Check the alignment of your knee and your ankle. Want your left knee to be over the left ankle. If you can't reach the floor fully, just keep your hands on your thighs. Inhale as you reach the arms up to the sky, lifting and lengthening through the crown of the head. And then exhale, releasing the hands toward the floor or back to the thumb. Lift the heel off and pivoting the foot forward, pivoting off the front ball of the, the back ball of the foot, drop the heel down. So if you can, you're going to be down low here, flexing through the foot. That might not be achievable, in which case just be up high. Here is absolutely fine. So my toes are slightly pointed out, bending one knee, hand to the thigh, or your lower down. And then back to center, switching sides. 
you can lift up that foot if you want, you could have the toes resting then. Rising back up. If you're lower down, you could stay in a squat. And then to one side, lift the toes. Good, back to centre. And the other way. Coming back to centre. Bend the right knee. Good. Reach the arms out, straighten through both legs. Bend the elbows. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach. Release the arms. Turn the right foot toes to face the long end of your mat and bring it in the left leg. Inhale as you reach the arms up to the sky. And exhale as you lower the hands back down, bringing your hands to your heart center, palms of the hands together. Inhale as you reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale as you reach to the left. Inhaling, coming back to center. Exhaling, reaching to the right. Inhale, back to centre. Extending the left leg long. Draw the toes to face out slightly, about 10 to. Bend the knees, bend the elbows, bring the hands back. Inhale, extend that through the arms. Exhale as you bend. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale as you reach. Exhale as you bend. Inhale as you reach. Release the arms down. Lift the heel of the right foot and the toes turn to face the long edge of your mat. Lift the, lift the toes of the left foot and draw the toes to face the top edge of your mat. Bend your knee and straighten. Reach out through your arms. Drop the front hand toward the leg, just in front of the knee or the thigh. Top arm reaching up. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Pivoting around. So lift the heel of the back foot, drop, and coming around on the toe. Then drop the knee to the floor. Inhale as you reach the arms up to the sky. Breathe. Exhale as you release the arms back down. So if you struggle to come down so much, just take the hand to the thigh here. Lift the knee of the back foot, pivot off the foot again, and turn your toes back to facing 10 and 2. So we're either up high, taking the weight into the left foot, bending the left knee, and coming to centre, and then bending the right knee. Or, we can be down deeper. So if you need to rest, you can always come lying into child's pose. We're coming from side to side. And back to centre, straighten through both legs. Reach the arms up to the sky into a star shape. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. And reaching up, releasing the arms down. Lift the heel of the back foot, pivoting around. Both toes facing the top end of your mat. Bend both knees, squeeze the buttock slightly, so tilting the pelvic floor. Tilting the pelvis rather. Reach your arms up to shoulder height. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. If you want to make it deeper, you bend the front knee more so the knee comes in alive with the hip, or you can stay up higher. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Release the arms. Hand to the thigh if you need support there to bring the back foot in slightly. Taking the weight into the front leg. 
lifting the toes of the back leg. See how your back feels. If it's uncomfortable, you can take the leg to the side as an alternative. If that feels okay, see so if you can lift the leg higher. You might need to hold on to something. See if you can hinge forward. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And bring the leg back to meet the other one, giving the knees a little bend, one knee and then the other. Inhale as you reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale as you bend your knees, sitting down on an imaginary chair. So you can even keep the arms where they are, or you could bend the elbows, doing cactus arms or bring the hands to their hips. Check your neck is happy, your back is happy, the belly is drawn in slightly. And then hinge and forward from the hips as you straighten through the legs. So either the hands might rest on the thighs or shins, or they might come down toward the floor into a forward fold. If the back's aching a little bit today, maybe you come with the feet wide or just staying up higher. Feeling the backs of the legs stretching out. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bend your knees, take the hands to the thighs if you need it for support coming back up. Otherwise, extend the arms behind you. Rising all the way back up to standard, reach the arms up to the sky, palms together. Bring the hands to the heart. And release the hands facing forward. Take the palms facing forward, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Hands to your hips, weight into the right leg. Left leg extended behind you, tip of the toes. That might be plenty for you. Maybe you'll be able to lift the leg off slightly. That might be enough. Or maybe you can hinge forward from the hips. Don't be afraid to hold on to a wall or a chair if you need to. This is a tricky pose. So adjust it if you need to, make it easier, stay up higher. Remember if the back pulls, could be standing up with a leg exercise, you're still working the leg. Oh, <laughs> take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. And slowly rising back up, giving the legs a little shake, taking the legs wide. Turn your toes back out to kind of 10 and 2. Take your hands to your hips, draw the elbows back, lift and lengthen through your chest, hinging forward from the hips. So we want to keep our back nice and straight and rounded. So if it means we're going to be up higher, that's absolutely fine. As long as we're feeling a stretch through the backs of the legs. And some of us I know have done a more yoga and are watching. So in which case you might come down further. I want you to feel a stretch through the backs of the legs. Don't try to achieve the full pose always. Just trying to achieve a stretch for you. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bend your knees if you need to or come up with a straight back. Wonderful drawing the legs together. Taking the weight into the left foot, right heel toward the buttocks. So see if you can reach around taking hold of your foot. If you can't just keep the leg there or take hold of your trouser leg. If you've got a sock nearby, you could use that as a band to extend the length of your arm. We're looking for a stretch through the front of the right leg. Push the foot into the hand to deepen the stretch and squeeze the buttocks. 
hand to your hip or to a wall. That might be plenty. Or maybe begin to hinge forward from the hips. This is tricky, so that might be enough for many. Hinge forward from the hips into dancer's pose. The foot comes away from the buttocks. For more challenge, you can extend the arm out. Draw the belly in and coming back in, releasing the legs, giving the legs a little shake. Weight into the right leg, left heel bends, left knee bends rather. Taking hold of the foot if you can, the wider trouser leg. We use a sock around your ankle. Engage to a fixed point. Belly drawn in, open up through the chest. Push the foot into the hand so the heel comes away from the buttocks. Knee should be happy here. If it's not, ease off. If you want deeper, hinge forward from the hips, pushing the foot into the hand. Gaze to a fixed point. And harder still, <laughs> reaching the arm up. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. A deep breath in and a deep breath out. Draw the belly in, slowly rising back up. Releasing the leg, give it a little shake, a little bit of a leg workout today. Okay, taking the right foot into tree. So left foot, left foot, left foot's on the floor, right foot is to the ankle or the calf. Allow the knee to open out to the side so you're drawing the knee back. Hands can either come to your hips or to your heart. More challenge. Arms overhead. See what feels okay for you today. You know, each day, each week, you feel different. So honoring your body. Breathe, the breath is flowing in and out, breath flowing in and out. Bring your hands back to your heart, releasing the hands, releasing the legs, lift both heels up, come <laughs> if you can. Then drop one heel, lift, and the other. So pedaling out through the legs. And release. Weight into the left leg. Right foot to the ankle. The calf, whichever is more suitable for you. You can always have the toe down on the floor to balance. Hands to your hips. Or more, <laughs> or to the heart in prayer, or reach the arms up to the sky. Have I done the same leg? <laughs> deep breath in, deep breath out. A deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, and away. Bringing the hands back to the heart. And releasing the foot back down, release the hands. Giving the legs 
a little pedal by lifting one heel and then the other. Back into our chair pose. So feet can either be together, which is harder, or hip distance apart. Hands to your hips and bending your knees as though you're sitting on an imaginary chair. Maybe if the body feels okay with it, hinging forward from the hips, you're sinking down deeper. The back is still nice and straight. And breathing. So this really gets the quads working, the front of the legs. Really works them out if you feed it in the knee joint, ease off. When we get the quads working, it then tricks the hamstrings into relaxing. So it's great to work your quads before you then come into a hamstring stretch. So from here, nice straighten through the knees and hinging forward from the hips. If you need to here, you can bend the knees if your hamstrings feel a bit tight today. Or you could come with the legs wider. The head is dropped down. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Remember you can ease off if you need to. Come out if you need to. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And deep breath in. And out. Bend your knees if you need to. Otherwise, just hinging back up from the hips. Or if you need to, bend your knees, hands to the thighs. <sighs> to rise back up. Taking the left toes to the floor, so tip of the toes. And then we're going to take our right hand to the outside of the bent neck. So if that feels okay like that, see if you can lift the foot off the floor, flex the foot, or maybe you'll come higher so the knee can come in alignment with the hip and turn slightly. So your hand is to the outside of the leg and the opposite arm wrapping around the back of the body. So depending on your balance, your gaze is either forward or for more challenge, your gaze is behind. So the hand is resting on the outside of the leg. And is resting on the outside of the leg. The toe might be down on the floor, so your hand might be higher up on the thigh. We're twisting through the spine. If the legs have had it, <laughs> release the foot down and just come into a twist with the body. Inhale as you come back to centre and release. Switching sides, so either on the tip of the toe that might be enough, you might flex the foot, lift the foot off the floor, or you might bring the knee up to hip height or somewhere in between. Taking the left hand to the outside of the right leg, opposite arm wrapping around the back of the body. So gaze either forward or behind. Dependent on how you are with your balance, depending on how the neck feels. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And away. Inhale as you come back to centre. And release the legs. Inhale as you reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale as you reach your arms to the right. And this time allow the left hip to push away from you. Inhaling back to centre. Exhale as you reach away. So if the ne neck feels happy, as you extend the arms to the side, the arms to the right, you could take the gaze up towards the ceiling to twist them through the neck, only if the neck's happy with that. Inhale, centre, and a reach. Coming back to centre, release the arms, taking the legs wide. 
reach the arms behind you, interlace the fingers. As you inhale, extend the arms away, hinging forward from the hips. Arms reaching over the head, chin tucked. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. If it's too much with the arms and the legs, pick one or the other to do. So you could be upright, sit upright with the arms just extending, or you could have your hands or your thighs here. Draw the stomach in and slowly making your way back up. Bring one foot in and the other, and then making your way down onto your mat. And just allowing the body to settle here, ready to relax. Maybe the feet come apart, maybe your knees are bent if you need that extra support from the, on the back. And take a gentle breath in. And a gentle breath out. Gentle breath in. And a gentle breath out. Just allowing the body to settle, to let go. The muscles softening. The bones relaxing. Surrendering, softening, letting go. 